grade 11s welcome to the second lesson of exponents and thirds today we are going to explore further examples of exponents so if you've just joined in i highly recommend that you go and watch the first lesson so that you can get to understand the laws of exponents that we discussed about because what we're going to be doing today is primarily based on what we've done on the previous lesson now as I do the examples, I'm going to start off with the simple ones and move on to the most complex ones, alright? Now let's get started with the examples. Let's say maybe I give you 5 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of 2. How would you simplify that? Well according to the laws of exponents, whenever you multiply the powers of the same base, what do you do? You add the exponents. So the bases are the same, I'm just going to drop the base and then add up the exponents. So that will be 5 to the power of 2 plus 2, giving me a final answer of 2 to the power of 4z. Alright, now let's take a closer look at another example. Let's say maybe you are given an exponent that's raised to another exponent. Like you see in this case here, we have 2x squared raised to the power of 2. Now, what do you do in such a situation? Well, according to the laws of exponents, once again, when an exponent is raised to another exponent, you have to multiply the indices, all right? So, that will be 2 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by x raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 there. So, we multiply these together, okay? Now, that will give us a final answer of uh, 4x to the power of 4 the Alright, so that was very simple. Let's move on to another example. Let's say maybe I give you 16 to the power of 4x multiplied by 4 to the power of 2x. We are still multiplying exponents, but here's a trick. The bases are not the same, so therefore we cannot apply that rule of exponent. So, what can we do in order to simplify this one? Well, our mission here will be to make the bases to be the same. Now, 16 can be written in a form of 2 to the power of 4 the. Do you agree with me? And then we also have, okay, thus expression is also raised to the power of 4x d. And then you multiply it by 4. But 4 can be written in a form of 2 to the power of 2 the and then that's raised to exponent 2 x the now the bases are the same okay but just before we add the exponents we have exponents which are raised to other exponents okay now according to the law of exponent whenever you raise an exponent to another exponent what do you do you multiply the indices so that will be 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 4x d all right multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 times 2x d all right so this will give us uh 2 to the power of 16x d multiplied by 2 to the power of um what is 2 times 2x that will be 4x d all right now the bases are the same now we can add the exponents so i will drop the base which is 2 then add the exponents 16x plus 4x that will give us 20x so this is your final answer there so you need to be careful when you apply the laws of exponents you need to make sure that the bases are the same okay never go and subtract the exponents if the bases are not the same you will get zero the all right let's move on to another example uh, let's say maybe you're given this expression 6a to the power of 4 plus 9a to the power of 4 all over 5a squared now what can you do in order to simplify this well the first thing to do will be to add up the like terms there on the numerator so 6a to the power of 4 plus 9a to the power of 4 that'll, that'll give us a uh, 15a to the power of 4 over 5 to the power of a to the power of 2 then now 5 goes how many times and so 15 it goes three times all right and then what is a to the power of 4 divided by a to the power of 2 
once again according to the laws of exponents whenever you divide the powers of the same base what do you do you subtract the exponents so i'm gonna drop the base and then subtract the exponents there and then that will give me a final answer of 3a to the power of 2d all right so that's your final answer there it's 3a squared now let's take a closer look at this example here we have 2 to the power of 2010 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2011 all over 10 to the power of 1000 now this example they love it especially in grade <laughs> grade 11s you know so you need to be careful when you do this one and you know for those who don't know the laws of exponents they'll just be inclined to punch this in a calculator hoping that they will find an answer well unfortunately this is a very very huge number so the calculated display is so small to actually show the answer for this expression so as a result you will get a syntax error there now in order to simplify this you need to like use the laws of exponents now in this case the bases are not the same so there's nothing that we can do there but is there a relationship with, uh, between the numerator and the denominator there yes there is a relationship check this if i say 2 to the power of 2010 2 to the power of 2010 multiplied by 5 to the power of 2011 all over do you agree with me that 10 can be written in a form of 2 times 5 do you agree with me because i haven't changed anything there 2 multiplied by 5 will give you 10 and 10 is raised to the power of 1000 there all right so now i have a situation whereby i can actually you know divide the powers of the same base because i have 2 to the power of 2010 there on the numerator and i can i also have 2 on the denominator i have 5 on the num numerator i also have 5 on the denominator so what i can do is i can further simplify the denominator and say okay 2 to the power of 2010 multiplied by 5 to the power of 2011 then that will be 2 to the power of 1000 multiplied by 5 to the power of 1000 d you see so i've used this rule saying that whenever you multiply two terms and then you raise them to an exponent then the exponent can further be distributed among the numbers of variables which are multiplied together there so it will be a to the power of n multiplied by b to the power of n there so that's what i've done on the numerator now 2 to the power of 2010 it will be okay now that we are dividing the powers of the same base we have to subtract the exponents okay so i will drop the base which is 2 and then 2010 2010 subtract uh 1000 there that will give you 1010 and then multiplied by 5 to the power of 2011 subtract uh 1000 there that will give you uh 10 to the power of rather 5 to the power of 10 11 so that's your final answer there all right so that was a little bit tricky they you need to be careful all right and sometimes when you're given this expression it may not always be the case whereby you have to you know write this in this form you may sometimes be required to take out the highest common factor there so that it, things can work out now let's take a closer look at the last example okay here we have uh 4x to the power of 7 y to the power of 5 x to the power of 6 all over 21 x to the power of 12 y to the power of 2 and then all this is actually raised to the power of 4 then now just before i can actually raise everything to the power of 4 then i just want to simplify the fraction okay so that will be uh what is 14 divided by 21 well that will be 2 uh, over 3 there 
and then x to the power of 7 this one x to the power of 7 multiplied by x to the power of 6 well in this case I'm multiplying the powers of the same base what I have to do is I need to add the exponents so 7 plus 6 will give me uh, 13 then so that will be x raised to the power of 13 okay so that's 13 day ish you know this thing okay yeah and then we also have y raised to the power of 5 and then on the denominator we have x raised to the power of 12 and then we have y to the power of 2 and then that's raised to the power of 4 and then the, the third step will actually simplify to 2 then that will be 2 over 3 then now what is x to the power of 13 now when i divide x to the power of 13 with x to the power of 12 that will be x that will give me x to the power of um 13 minus 12 so that will be one day okay and then i also have uh, uh, y to the power of 5 divided by y to the power of 2 now what's going to be the answer the the answer will be y raised to the power of 5 minus 2 giving me the final answer of uh, y to the power of 3 there okay so that will be y to the power of 3 and then all this is raised to exponent 4 and then from there what i can do i can raise uh, check i can raise 2 to the power of 4 x to the power of 4 y to the power of 4 3 to the power of 4 you see so everything is like raised to the power of 4 now so that will be 2 to the power of 4 the so it will be 2 to the power of 4 x to the power of 4 y to the power of 3 times 4 over 3 to the power of 4 the now what is 2 to the power of 4 that is uh 16 the so it will be 16 then x to the power of 4 y to the power of 3 multiplied by 4 that will be 12 all right and then on the denominator you will have 3 to the power of 4 giving you 81 so that's like your final answer day for the last uh, question day all right now in the next lesson we are going to be talking about uh, negative exponents and the meaning of a to the power of naught so make sure to stay tuned day see you on the next one